Just some time ago, I was extremely underconfident and insecure about myself and constantly used to think that I'm not good enough. My confidence level was very low. I did not have self-esteem and was struggling for not having self-respect. I started making content in July 2023, but this is the kind of work I had never ever imagined to do. I had never thought that one day I will be making videos and posting them online because I was that underconfident and insecure girl who was hesitant to talk to even her seatmate. But now I can proudly say that I have immense amount of confidence within myself and it took me a lot of time to build and I have tried several strategies to make myself this confident. So here are some of the things I have been doing to build my confidence and overcome all of my insecurities and become the best version of myself. So the first thing I have been doing for a very long time is to setting realistic goals and achieving them. I truly believe in this step because I feel if you have set realistic and achievable goals for you and once you achieve them, no matter how tiny the task is, no matter how tiny your goal was, but once you achieve them by putting efforts, you are naturally going to get some sort of confidence. You will start feeling that, yeah, I have potential and I can do even more than that. I feel if you truly want to build your self-confidence, then the biggest favor you can do to yourself is to setting realistic goals and achieving them. By saying this, I certainly do not mean that you need to have goals something like, okay, I want to become rich. I want to acquire this skill. I want to get A grades in my school or in my college. Well, these goals are not specific. They are too vague. So it would be a bit difficult for you to achieve them. But for example, if you have made realistic and clear goals such as I want to acquire this skill within three months or within six months. Once you achieve them, you are going to have a lot of confidence. But I truly believe that everything starts with very small step. So for example, if I want to feel confident, I am going to make my to-do list. And to be very honest, if I complete all of them, at night I feel really satisfied. It gives me a sort of confidence that yeah, finally I did it. Even though those tasks were very tiny and they were something like, okay, drink, drinking three to four liters of water or reading books for 30 minutes or listening to podcasts for one hour. Although these tasks are tiny, but once I make them happen, I feel so confident. Another thing I have been focusing on is learning new skills. When it comes to building your self-confidence within yourself, the most important thing you should be doing is to learn new skills. Because if you are acquiring new skills, it will enhance your confidence by giving you a sense of accomplishment. You would start feeling confident. Oftentimes we feel underconfident because we don't have enough knowledge about something. But if you have built any sort of skill which can help you to stand out from the crowd, then you are certainly going to feel confident whenever you step outside, whenever you go and talk to people because you have something or other to talk about. By saying this, I certainly do not mean that you need to learn some high valuable and high demanding skills. That skills could be anything, but make sure that it interests you and helps you to grow and develop your skills and develop your confidence and make you the best version of yourself. There are several skills I have tried so far to build my self-confidence, but I made sure that these are the skills I have not been focusing to master because mastering any specific skill takes a lot of time. It takes years. And if you want to build your confidence, it certainly do not mean that you need to master every single skill you are coming across. I have tried baking, journaling, videography, learning new languages, and there are several other skills I have tried to build my confidence. So in this way, you can find what interests you and spend some time with the skill so that you can easily acquire the skill. Another one is having a power pose. 
A lot of people have different power poses to increase the level of their confidence and dominance while reducing their stress level. Some people have Wonder Woman pose, some have Victory pose, some have CEO pose, some have Superhero pose. Likewise, I have my own power pose which helps me to be confident whenever I go outside and whenever I need to show my confidence. My power pose depends on the situation. For example, if I'm standing and kept my shoulder straight and I if I look straight, I'm going to feel assertive and powerful. And while walking, if I kept my shoulder straight and if I take longer steps, then I am going to feel confident. Similarly, if I am sitting and if I lean back slightly in the chair and cross my leg, then I start feeling confident and it gives me powerful vibe it makes me feel that yeah you can be assertive you don't need to struggle about anything you don't need to think about anything because you are in control so in this way you can have your own power pose which can make you feel confident whenever you need to show your confidence another one is leaving your comfort zone we are accustomed of living in our comfort zone which is literally killing our confidence but the good news is you can regain that confidence and build immense and tremendous amount of confidence within yourself just by putting yourself into uncomfortable situations by saying this i certainly do not mean that you have to put yourself into situations where you feel awkward by saying this i mean you have to overcome all the fears you have you have to try out all the things which make you feel uncomfortable and which daunts you this is the best thing you can do to yourself if you want to have immense amount of confidence within yourself because if you start doing those things which make you feel scary and if you start overcoming your insecurities and started doing those things which once used to haunt you then it will give you some sort of confidence another one is dress up i have heard it somewhere that if you dress up in a certain way which you actually like then it is instantly going to boost your mood by making you feel powerful and confident by saying this i mean a lot of people have a specific dress code that this is the dress which makes me feel confident so whenever i go outside and if i wear this dress and if i dress up in a certain way i feel powerful and confident although i do not have a specific dress code but i have realized it some time ago that if i wear a specific dress color if i wear dress in a specific color then i'm going to feel confident for example whenever i wear something dark bit dark blue black dark green maroon or in this way i feel confident whereas if i would be wearing something bright something light then i feel drab in those dresses i do not feel as confident as i feel whenever i wear something dark so in this way you can have your own dress color you can have your dress code or if you do not have any specific dress code then there are some sort of color which do make you feel confident so you just have to figure it out and wear them whenever you need to be confident another one is give yourself challenge this is the step i have been following for a very long time to boost my confidence and make myself a kind of person who can be confident at any given time well by saying give yourself challenge i certainly do not mean that you have to be extremely harsh on yourself you have to make sure that all the challenges which you have given to yourself are just a bit difficult to you you should not be giving yourself such challenges where you feel like crying because in this way you are just making yourself burnt out and overwhelming and you are not going to be confident at all rather you would be disappointed because of the result because you would start thinking that probably i'm not capable of doing these things so there are several things which you can try on to boost your confidence if you are someone who is a bit hesitant to talk to others then you can have challenges such as i will be saying hi to my classmates for at least a few days or if you have never went alone then you can have challenge like 
I will I will be going to this specific restaurant or this specific place and will spend some time there. Or you can also have challenge such as I will be speaking in front of my class or in front of my colleagues or in front of people without having any kind of difficulty. At first, you might feel a bit disappointed because you are not supposed to perform in the best way. You just have to try out something. And once you do the same thing over and over again, you are going to have so much confidence within yourself. So these are some of the steps I have been following to build my self-confidence and overcome all the insecurities and all the problems I have within myself. So that's all for today's video. Just do let me know in the comments below that what are the steps you have been trying to boost your confidence within yourself and what are the things I should try on. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. So please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you very soon in the next video. Bye bye.